KE6VRK here. Hi, today I wanted to go through a device I've been using for a long time and I've been waiting to do a video on this. This is a great device. This is a MobiLink TNC3. And what is really nice about this device, this is for APRS. This allows you to hook up any transceiver to this device and then you can run an app on Android or iPhone. I've used either one, even laptop, anything. And what it allows you to do is this will work Bluetooth to the device. So then you can use the software on the device to send and receive messages like you're sending text messages or email. It's really, really nice. It's a really, really nice device. So you get this device, as you can see here, and what's on here is you have the charger, and this is also an input. I'll make another video on this, another USB input. And then it has the connector, which is the transmit receive input on here. So you get this device, and you can buy a lot of different cables for it. This is the one that hooks up to, to Yesu or other radios. And what you do, this is actually a very simple cable. You can see it's got the four conductor. You just get this, plug it in here. This goes to the radio. Very simple. So you have that connector. And this is what's nice. You also have these connectors. You have an extension. You have a six DIN, DIN 6. And what you can do with the DIN 6, you have these wires. And you plug this into here, right there. And then that turns it into a DIN 6. So you can hook up other devices. You can get uh, this other DIN 6, which allows it to use other types of radios with DIN 6. But get this. You can also hook up this DIN 6 to here. And I'm going to show you what's on the output on this side. So you can hook it up to, this uh, will work on VHF radios and different things like that. You can hook it up to any radio. They even have a connector just like this with the two lines to hook it up to Canwood, Baofeng, ICOM. I've tried it on all different radios. It's endless. Even the old radios that are even really, really old radios. And you can even make your own connections too. So let's go through this. So let me go through what you need. So you need two pieces of software that are on the same, that are the same on, uh, let's use uh, Android iPhone type of uh, situation for this. What you need are two different pieces of software. And what you need is, you need uh, two programs that I use all the time. You're gonna need the MobiLinked TNC C, and it's an app that allows you to do uh, connections. It allows you to sync your device, iOS or Android, to this so you can uh, so you can see it. I'll actually give you a demonstration of it. And the other program I'm using with it is APRS.FI. That's another program I'm using with it that works really well. And I've gotten it to work on other programs too. That's not the only one you can use it on. You can use it on, on a couple different ones. There are some other programs I'll go through later that are actually compatible with it. It's any program that likes to receive, that can use a Bluetooth modem. That's the key word, a Bluetooth modem. I have to check if APRS Pro will do it on that one also. Now, mind you, APRS FI uh, is on the Android also. And there are a couple uh, different ones that have, oh yeah, I've gotten it to work on uh, Droid APRS. That works too, it's the same situation. Let me go through the program that syncs this together, which is the Mobile Link TNC. By the way, it's a free program, and then the other ones you pay for, it's they're not expensive either. It's like $9 or something like that as of this recording. So the first step what we do is we turn this device on. I do have it. By the way, this is the, the charger port. I, I think I mentioned that. We turn it on, and you'll see it glowing. And then I go to the program. So now using the, the mobile phone, let's try to make a connection. What I'm going to do is go to the 
mobile link app. So now we select the TNC and we connect to it. And let's issue the pairing for it. Good. So now we are in the mobile link itself and you can check audio settings and the radio is now on hooked up to hooked up to it and let's wait for a signal to come in there we go we'll see some signals come in so we do see some stuff go through let's go to the output settings this is where you have to check if it's simplex or multiplex if you do a transmit you can check to see the red light is on on the transmitter it's not working change to multiplex now it is working now it is transmitting and that's all there is to do with that and you save it and i'm going to disconnect make sure you disconnect now i'm going to go to aprs fi this is just one of the programs that works with it and you go to more and you have the tnc and it shows that is connected so now i sent the message out and it's going to receive the message on the radio look at that it's amazing it's going to just see it i didn't have to do anything i didn't have to touch the radio i can just keep sending messages and you can have a whole qso or like sms we can just send messages back and forth let's try another zip code just try this and this is neat. Your acknowledgement says deliver, just like your phone does on the Android or the iPhone. It's really nice. And it will automatically queue. You can see where it says uh, delivering one of six. It'll try it six times and keep delivering the message. And then what we can also do is you can send uh, different messages going through. You can send, uh, watch this. If I send a question mark to it, it's really nice how it works and don't forget this goes to any radio you can do this with the bell fang you can do it with anything this is one of the most useful little devices there we go and it tells you how to send a message with uh aprs what when where this is real this is a nice way to test it so it works really nice i like the device it's really useful device and i recommend you you look into getting one i will post a link on the comments right below and it's it's really fun like i say you can really play with aprs but now you can use your mobile phone you don't have to depend on the radio but any radio will work you can grab any old radio and you won't have a problem so remember have fun with this uh, i'll do more videos on this i've been waiting to do a video on this i really enjoy this it works really really well so 73s from ke6 vrk